Uh, Mr. Gatson, before we went to a break, he asked me a question that I thought it's a good, it's a good thing to share with you. He asked me, when I have here, business like equals rude. What does that mean for Hispanics? Business likes is like when we, uh, there is a difference between uh, the US culture that we call monochronic culture. And monochronic means it's, uh, my time means money. It's business. It's like, let's take care of business, get in and out, let's finish the meeting, let's, let's do it and leave and go to the next task. The Hispanic culture is what we call a polychronic culture. Polychronic culture meaning where time is not that important. Time is flex flexible and fluid. And relationships is what really counts. It's not business. So if, if you are in business, for example, and you go into a meeting in a, in, in a Latin country and it happened, like if you go to Argentina or Brazil, you know, the meeting will start in a social way. It might not even start on time. You know, it will start by, you know, how are you, how are your kids, which school did they go to, how is your family, where do you live, where did you go for uh, vacation. And it's the same also in the Middle East, because in the Middle East, if they do not, uh, for example, establish that trust with you, they will not deal with you, no matter what it is. So, again, it comes back, it could be, say, what do I care, it's their loss. Again, we are in the healthcare business, we are not... <coughs> You know, just someone where we don't we don't care. That's why that's why we care about our patients. So that being said, that's what business like is like when actually uh, a healthcare provider goes in, hello, not even looking at them, looking at the chart, asking questions really quick without really at, with looking at that person. Sometimes asking very personal questions when they have never even said hi. And it will offend people. It will offend Hispanics and Latinos, and they will consider it rude. So we need to put all that in our mind. In, in the Hispanic culture, people are more important than tasks. That's why sometimes you see lines might not mean much for them. So if there is someone at a desk, and because people are more important than tasks, you can, they will just come through to the desk and ask their question without waiting in line. Or if there are two people talking and a person needs to ask a question, they will come and ask that question. And if these people are his friend, they will stop actually the conversation and answer. Because people are more important than tasks. It's personalismo. That's what it means. So always people, yes. What's funny, because you're telling me, um, is that a lot of times, they will not, if it's an answering machine, they won't leave a message. They won't. They'll say, I called you 10 times. I go, well, there's no messages. You know, um, but that's because they didn't leave a message. Because they're not the, a machine is not the person. Right. And um, the other thing is that our, our Medi-Cal system, applying for Medi-Cal online and then the whole process now that you have to talk to a machine, a computer, forget it. Uh, you know, terrible service. They won't. Yeah. yeah. That answers my question. Okay. <laughs> I wondered that. You had a question, yes. It's kind of silly, but... There is no questions uh, that are silly. <laughs> all right, so it, it says, it is politeness and avoidance of hostile confrontation, then you have handshake, uh, back touch, pat shoulder, is that considered business-like, or is that... No, pat on the shoulder actually is Those considered friendly. Yeah, that's what So I it's a, not touching, touching, but just a pat on the shoulder, like passe, like, like please come in. You know, it's, it's very, and I was going to keep that for him, but I, we can talk about it now. It's, it's really, it makes a big difference if someone is walking to your door or coming to your desk, you actually get up and you shake their hand. And hello, and you always know their name, and you tell them senor or senora and their last name. Uh, please come in. You can say pase, pase in Spanish, is like please come in. And then you can actually tell them to sit. Because sometimes they won't sit if you don't tell them. Because it's your, your environment. Out of respect to you, they wait for you to tell them to sit down. So by doing that and by looking at them without like a plastic smile, just you know a genuine <laughs> smile, you know, no matter what it is, anytime. So and you start by how are you today? Como estas? You know, uh, is everything okay? You know, and and just passing by, you can just put a pat, hand on their shoulder. That feels like they feel oh they care about me as a person. And they will, that, that relationship will start developing there. And they will start having that confidence in you. 
they will start be, to ask to answer the question. They will uh, because usually when a Hispanic or a Latino patient comes to you for the first time, they might not feel comfortable sharing a lot of things with you. It takes time for them to come out with that information, and it comes out only when they will trust you. And it could happen in the first visit, as long as you are showing them what they are comfortable with, as long as you're showing them what they know. Remember, uh, when people are different or they do things different, they do things because it makes sense to them. It doesn't have to make sense to you, but it does make sense to them. So as people and as diverse as we are in California, we don't have to love everybody, we don't have to like everybody, but we have to respect everybody. Especially in our, as an industry, as healthcare, we need to accept everybody as they are. We, we are not in a place where we have choices, really, because we are here to provide service for people that are in need. And if we really put that in front of our eyes, things will become a lot easier. Because I know that you don't deal only with Hispanics or Latinos. You deal with a lot of other races together. So it's just like, OK, which hat do I wear now? You know, but if, it, if the basics, basics of any dealing is respect and being kind and being friendly, it will take you through a lot of cultures without bias or prejudice. Yes, Annie. You say that healthcare providers deal with people not like they want to be treated, but like the patients want to be treated. Okay, so that's 